What's up guys, welcome back to video four, Deer Food Plots in the Woods, and I hope you guys follow along. Make sure you guys are subscribed and you have that bell note, uh, clicked so you guys never miss a video. In today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about what to actually plant in these food plots. We, we've already talked about um, entry and exit, uh, sunlight to the food plots, uh, preparation of the soil, uh, now today we're going to talk about actually what to plant in these food plots to make them beneficial and long lasting throughout the year. So we know that we have to correct the soil pH through a soil sample and through actual lime, not cal not uh, liquid lime like we talked about in the last video. But depending on the size of these plots and what's in the area will determine what you actually plant. So with these kill plots, most times, I'd say 75% of the time, people that plant the kill plots and just want to kill a deer. They don't really care if it's a, a huge buck, a small buck, a doe, whatever. Most people just want to have fun and they want to just shoot a deer. So if you're in an area, well, first, if it's a very small plot, I would say... Most times these small kill plots, I mean, some of them are under an eighth of an acre. You know, it could be a quarter acre. Some of them are a half acre. It just really depends. But the smaller you get, the more problems you're going to have. But I'd say if it's if it's an eighth acre to a quarter acre, then you want to focus on more of a, a cereal grain type uh, seed. Uh, when you start getting above that, then you can you could do more of like brassica type type setup but at these small kill plots you want a seed that actually that the seed or the plant's job is to create a seed which is clovers oats um winter wheat things like that you want to focus more on those because if when they grow a deer takes a bite of it it continues to grow because it's trying to it, its job is to produce that seed or seed head so if you plant, if you go in these small plots and you plant just brassicas, you're going to be sadly disappointed because if a deer takes a bite of a brassica, it's gone. It ain't growing back. So brassicas are okay to plant as long as you mix other cereal grains and things into it, which job, which with this job is to actually create a seed head. So you can plant brassicas, but a small amount. Focus more on like uh, oats, winter wheat. You could throw some some rye in there. Um, I'm not a huge fan of rye because it doesn't have any beneficial value to deer, very little. Uh, but it does stay green for longer periods of time into the winter months. But I would not if your if your main goal is to actually benefit the deer that you're trying to you're trying to grow deer and help deer put on body mass and things. Then I would stay away from like straight rye. This makes no sense to plant it whatsoever. Um, if you're trying to grow deer, if you're just in these small plots and you're just trying to hunt over them to just shoot a deer, then you can mix some some rye in there. Um, I would focus more on winter wheat. Uh, it's a good option. You could throw some clovers in. Uh, you can mix in some oats. I love planting oats. Oats are a little bit shade tolerant. You can get away with that in the woods a little bit more. You still have to have sunlight, but it's more shade tolerant. Same with clovers. Uh, you can you can get away with a little less sunlight uh, with those types of plants. Um, you can also throw in some brassicas for more of like a uh, like the ice cream. You know, deer love brassicas, very tasty, sweet to them, especially after that first frost. So these small kill plots, you know, do like a couple pounds of brassicas, do a mix of winter wheat, uh, oats, some clovers, something to where if a deer takes a bite of it. It continues to grow, continues to grow, continues to grow because it's trying to create a seed head. So again, if you plant just brassicas, you're going to be upset because, especially if you have a high, you know, deer density uh, herd, then if a deer takes a bite of a brassica, it's gone. It ain't growing back. So it's okay to plant, but like I said, do a mix: some oats, winter wheat, a little bit of rye. Throw in a couple pounds. Uh, of brassicas as, a, as like a little topping uh, to it for the attractability part but those are some good options to plant the bigger the plot is then you could focus more on your brassica side your turnips your radishes and um, 
some oats and, and things like that, uh, sugar beet, peas, winter peas, things like that, would be very palatable and attractive to deer, but only do that on the larger scale of things. So it and you also depend on your how many deer you have in the area. Like where I'm at, there's just so many deer now that we have to watch what we actually plant um, because there's no agriculture around. So if there's no agriculture around and you're limited on browse because the whole property is shaded out with pine trees and cedars and things like that, the deer are hungry. So if there's no agriculture around then you start planting food plots, you're going to attract a lot of deer and you have to be careful what you plant. But if these small kill plots, your best option is more of a cereal uh, grain type uh, seed because its job is to create that seed head and you, I think, believe you guys will have more of a, benef a beneficial value of planting that type of plant over something that, you know, once it, it's uh, bitten on or chewed on, it doesn't grow back. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, post a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are currently working on your kill pots in the woods. And I'll see you guys on the next video.